Hi everyone and welcome to Island Block. Now today I'll be showing you how you can withdraw directly into your Nigerian Naira account from your Binance account. Now because of this recent crypto restriction, many people have had issues withdrawing straight to their bank accounts and some people have even made the mistake of selling for Naira and crediting their Binance account and still not knowing how to withdraw it directly to their bank account. So I'll show you what to do. Now the first thing is your account must be verified. Your Binance account must be verified. If not, it won't work successfully. For you to use the P2P section of Binance, you must be using an already verified Binance account. You can verify your account with your international passport, your voter's card, your driver's license, or a valid national ID. But the paper N9 card won't work, and so far, the student's card, which is let's say your ID card, the student's ID card, doesn't work yet. So you would have to use one of the ones I mentioned before, which is voter's card, international passport, a valid national ID, or a valid ID or a driver's license. So once you've done that, the next thing is for you to now move the funds from your spot wallet, which is your normal trading account, to your P2P wallet. On Binance P2P, you can only sell USDT, BTC, BUSD, BNB, ETH, DAI, BIDR, EOS, and Russian Ruble. But then, you can't sell this because you are in Nigeria, so you can only sell one of the other coins. So I would advise that if you would like to sell on the Binance peer to pay you can either sell USDT, BTC, or sell BUSD. Now what I do majorly is I sell USDT because there are times where you wouldn't want the value of what you are trying to sell to fluctuate. So I just convert in my spot account, let's say I want to sell Bitcoin. So I just convert the Bitcoin to USDT and just head over to the P2P section to sell the USDT directly. But you know, do what works. So that the next thing for you to do is to click transfer. So you can move those funds from your spot wallet to your P2P wallet and sell them. So I come over to transfer, I click transfer. Then I would like to move funds from my spot wallet, not P2P. So I click this. So this way I'm moving funds from my spot wallet to my peer-to-peer -peer wallet where I can sell. And I would like to sell USDT. So I click this, tap USDT, then enter the amount of USDT I would like to sell. I would like to sell $100 worth of USDT. And then I press transfer. So now what have I done? I have successfully credited my P2P wallet with $100 worth of USDT that I would like to sell. Why do I have to do this? If you just come over to the P2P section and go and sell and you do not have anything to sell on this P2P wallet, even though you have money in your spot wallet, it won't be successful. So you must move the money from your spot wallet to the P2P wallet and then sell the funds that are now available on your P2P wallet. So the next thing I'll do is I'll click on sell and I would like to sell USDT. As I mentioned earlier, you can sell other cryptocurrencies, but I want to sell USDT. So let's say you want to sell Bitcoin, for example, you can click here and sell BTC. Another thing is do not be deceived by these rates you see here. These rates are not rates that would put the money in your bank account. In fact, as we speak, rates are currently way, way, way below 600. Rates are now at, I think, 504 per dollar or 503 per dollar. So, if you're looking at this rate and you think that if you sell at this rate, it is going straight to your bank account, it won't. In fact, selling at this rate would only credit your Binance Naira account. If you notice, look here, you would see that the payment method for this seller is your fiat balance. So, 
it is not going to your bank account this is not bank transfer instead it just goes to your fiat balance or your binance account so you have to scroll down till you find the seller that his payment method is bank transfer now two very important things i like to look at is the payment method and the seller's written as regarding completed trades why is that so there would also be some sellers that have only completed below one percent of their trades i do not trust them because there are sellers that tend to delay trades not successfully complete trades or just tend to waste your time so i always prioritize the payment method so i know how i'm getting paid and the rating which is the percentage of completed trades so i know not i know that my time will not be wasted so i scroll down looking for someone that would pay through bank transfer so till i find someone that will pay through bank transfer i don't keep i don't stop scrolling now this is bank transfer peru so this is not nigeria so you keep scrolling Now this is bank transfer as you can see but then as i mentioned earlier look at his percentage of complete trades very very bad so you don't want to get involved in a trade with this seller because your trade might not successfully get completed so you keep scrolling same thing applies here bank transfer very low percentage bank transfer very low percentage as well so you just keep scrolling down till you find those that are within the current rates which i'm sure you would be well aware of and someone that has at least a 60 percent rating for completed trades so now here i am now there's this person with bank transfer and then 89 percent completed trades this is wonderful but then i'm selling hundred dollars the maximum i can sell to this person is 1400 naira which is about three dollars so I'll keep scrolling till I find someone that wants to buy what I have to sell, which is $100. So that is also very important. Now you can choose to sell in bits. You can choose to sell to them in small bits. So you sell to all these sellers. This one, bank transfer enabled, a very good percentage, but it's buying only 3000 naira worth. So you can choose to sell to them in bits or just to directly find someone that wants to buy everything from you so i keep scrolling till i find bank transfer now this bank transfer is five hundred thousand naira so i'm only selling hundred dollars so i cannot sell to this person so i'll keep scrolling till i find someone that i can pay to so here we have bank transfer you would like to buy twelve thousand naira worth so i click sell then i would like to sell you know everything to him i'd like to be paid in my CUDA account when i press sell usdt and here i will just have to wait for the seller to credit my account so like i said this is how you get paid directly to your bank account so i'm selling at a rate of 507 naira per dollar i am selling 23.63 usdt and I'm going to get paid 11,999 Naira. So what you do is, once the seller says he has made payment and you receive a notification from Binance to confirm the seller's payment, you make sure that you go to your bank account and confirm that you have received the money. Do not approve any payment unless you have seen the money in your bank account very very important in fact for safety what some people do is immediately the money enters the account they try to move it to another account to be sure that it doesn't get reversed so once you've seen the money in your bank account you can now come here and approve the payment that the seller claims to have made now in case the seller is wasting time you can come over here which is a chat section and okay so this is his terms and conditions he charges 100 naira on every transaction now you can come here and choose to call the seller let's say he's wasting time to pay 
So you click here, call the seller and let him know that an order has been placed on Binance and you are awaiting his payment. So once you have done that and the seller now successfully confirms that there's an order available, he would pay you and the trade gets completed. Once I wait, in a few minutes, I'll get credited directly in my bank account. Like I said, do not confirm any payments at all till you receive the money in your bank account. Some sellers will come and claim that they have made payments, whereas they have not. So you need to be extra careful. You need to be sure that you have seen the money in your bank account. Thank you so much for watching and do have an awesome time. Bye-bye.